We got Bingo Man here. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Moving Mouth Papa. Hello. <laughs> Time for a potty break. Spirits open, let's go. Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, I am in New Philly, Ohio today, about to go into this spirit Halloween back here, which is inside a Bueller's grocery store. I love the way this store looks. This one has been here for the past few years. I have never filmed it before. I have filmed spirits in New Philly before, but it was always in the old JCPenney's down at the mall. I love how it has the clock up there. It reminds me of the clock tower from Back to the Future. All right, let's go on in, guys, see what we can find in here. Hopefully, we're going to see some awesomeness that maybe we haven't seen in other stores. Oh, my gosh. We're right. Right off the bat, guys. Look at this. We have the Ringmaster. That is very, very cool, guys. My first time seeing the Ringmaster in person. We got Ghostface over here, of course, and this one is holding the machete. Let's go ahead and get him going real quick, and then we'll move on to the ringmaster. Now I see something red. <laughs> and he's doing the death wobble with his hand. All right, let's move over to the ringmaster. Look at this guy. 329.99. He is he look at the clobbers, the clob hoppers. What the heck do you even call them? They're so big. The clob hoppers on this guy. I love how he has the skull on the end of his staff, and he looks exactly like Shaq. I really, really just want to bring a basketball and set it right there between his feet. Let's go ahead and get him going here, because I've heard some things about him, like his chest lights up or shows some kind of a thingy-majigger. I don't know. Let's see. Show us a thingy-majigger. Oh, okay, I can see it, but it's so bright in here that I can't make out what it is. Okay, I see a skull. Is it just skulls, like, trying to break out through his chest? You guys are going to have to t tell me because it's so bright in here, I just can't tell. All right, let's do that one time with me being quiet so we can hear him. Yeah, it's way too difficult to see. But I'll tell you what, you know what would make that even more awesome? If fog came out of his mouth. Because as he kicks back like that, that reminds me of Candyman. If you've ever seen the movie Candyman, where he kicks back like that and all the bees come out of his mouth, how cool is that? All right, Ringmaster, Ghostface, let's move through the carnival and see what else we can find. And of course, straight ahead, we have this guy that everybody loves so much, Art the Clown, $199.99. Get a 20% off coupon and you can save 40 bucks. Art the Clown, let's see what you got, buddy. All right, we got art moving. We got the ducks going over here. Now, I don't think this actually does anything if you try to shoot the ducks. I kind of expect them to react sometimes, and I don't think they do. Like, you push the trigger on the gun, you can see it flashing up and flashing up, flashing and making noises and stuff, but it doesn't actually affect the ducks in any way. You see that boy? Now he goes and fetches the duck. All right, let's move on over here because we have, whoa, hunching scarecrow. And it looks like he's hooked up to the uh, step pad here. It, it looks like he's about to fall over. All right, let's give him some stickers here in his little bucket. Pass those out to the trick-or-treaters, sir. This is cool, guys. I'm in here so early today that I'm like the only person in the store. Except for the one dude that I just met that's off school because he just got his cast off 
Word up, dude. All right, look who we have right here, guys. We got a Bobby Strings for sale on the floor. We have the ghost face that lights up in the face and the knife. Of course, we have some low-lying fog machines. And we have Barnaby the Bear right over here. And we have another setup here that doesn't have Victor. What the heck? Where is he? All right, let's go ahead and talk to Emily first then. Come on now, Emily, come on. I hate how she has such pauses between what she's saying. She's one of my favorite animatronics ever, but she's kind of hard to hear. Plus, the music is pretty loud in here. Let's go ahead and get our jumping spider going here. Come on, sir. I used to get so scared of the jumping spiders every single time they would jump at me. Let's get Barnaby going here. Oh, he is super loud in here. Very cool. <laughs> I love getting the shots where you can see like the side show sign and stuff behind them. That looks so cool right there. All right, let's come on over here and do poppy strings. Come on, poppy. Hi there, kid. You're a lovely sight. Here's a spooky tail to fill you up with fright. I'm a puppet. Side show in the background. That's such a cool shot right there. I think if I ever bought him, I'd have to give him gumdrop buttons just for the heck of it. All right, let's go through the Fun House of Terror. Wait a minute. Why is it that every single time I come in here and I go through the Fun House of Terror, I've just had some kind of junk food before I do it? I just ate some kind of a brand new Reese peanut butter nutty candy bar or something like that. I'm already big enough as it is. And then we walk through the Fun House mirrors. What? the heck before Reese's after Reese's I just love walking through the fun house over and over because you can walk straight through the curtains and push them right out of the way and see what spookiness awaits oh in this case we got a whole plethora of spookiness awaiting us we got a max straw on the bottom here we got a ground breaking pumpkin here I think this guy is totally awesome we got another Barnaby down here Look at this, we got one, two, three man's possessed friends, Bubba. We got two demonic gatekeepers here. Man, he is so much more awesome than I ever expected him to be. This is what I'm talking about when I say that you have to actually see these in person to appreciate them. We got, a, we got two gravestone ghouls here. We got a cotton candy Dan in his enormous box. We got a giant death ray here. And look who we have over here on the end guys we got papa pins what the heck i think it's the first time i've seen him in a store this season i saw a post yesterday where they actually had him set up where the ringmaster should be and then of course we have the killer clowns trio inflatable on the top here we got a whole pile of stuff here we got a grave watcher here we got another grave watcher here we got the sinister spirit doll every time i see her i think of the spirit halloween movie hello cat we got a night terror down here. We got another max straw, a fogging skull pile, scary sitting scarecrow on this side, and a Wanda Webworth down here. Oh, and a ghost face over there. Oh, check this out, guys. Everybody is looking for this too. The Halloween 2 pumpkin skeleton statue. He's not working, but he does light up inside there. There we go. We got him turned on. Oh, there it is. How cool is that I'm very tempted to get him $44.99. And that is one of the things that everybody is trying to get this year. We got a couple of Annabelles over here. We got a couple of Glenn dolls and a sitting Sam doll. I think he is totally awesome. I'm kind of surprised that Glenn is surviving because last year everybody was buying this guy up. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. The Mars Attacks Neon LED Light Up Sign. That is cool. I actually have an Elm Street sign sort of like this in my office. Check out this giant mug for hot chocolate. Ooh, and look at this Billy Butcherson back here. Very cool. And I love how this season they have things that are just basic Halloween like these ghosts right here. Look at this, this plush white and black ghost. And this one even has a baby. Wait, this one does too. I just didn't see it. 
We got a pink skull over here. We got the secret keeping cats down here on the bottom. We got the zombie squirrels, the hello cats, and this guy. But I don't see Scab as his best friend forever. I can smell these guys' breath. They need the aqua fresh. We got some Zumba babies over here. Nobody knew, but they're all cool. Excuse me, sirs and ma'ams, are you taking a Zumba class today? We got Ghostface and Pennywise the Horror Babies. A whole plethora of jumping spiders. We got Bingo Man here. Wait a minute, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Moving Mouth Papa. Hello. <laughs> Time for a potty break. All right, we got to figure out where the plush is because everybody's been finding these plush art dolls and I am on a mission to find one. Wait a moment. Speak of the devil. Look what I just found here, guys. Look at this. Here he is. The Terrifier art plush. Oh my gosh. I did not expect I was actually going to find him in here. But we have one two, three. They actually have three in stock right here in New Philly. That is very cool. We also have Miss Argentina here. We have Lydia from Beetlejuice. Who is this guy? Oh, happy guy from JoJo's Ice Cream Killer Clowns. We have the Corpse Bride. We have a couple of Corpse Brides, actually. We have Pennywise here. And the Sandworm from Beetlejuice. What in the world is this three-headed fellow right here? It's like three-headed dog or something. Snuggle Me Snackers. Squishable.com? That's very strange. Okay, we found the art doll. Now, the other thing in question that everybody wants, the tumblers. Let's just take a walk through here and see if we can find any. I do see a bag o ears and a bag o eyeballs <laughs> and a bag o squishy mouses. All right, let's stay on track here. Don't get sidetracked. Whoa, I'm getting sidetracked. Hold on, check this out. Okay, this is sick. I bet you anything they didn't want to pay the royalties, but this is based on Terrifier. If you know, you know. <laughs> we got one with a backbone and a skull. Oh, here's the Jack Reaper pen. Oh, wait a minute. His arm is broken off. Uh-oh. We'll put that one to the side, but let's look at this one because he has both arms. There he is, Jack Reaper. So much fun, it's scary. And this is one of my favorites right here, the Severed Finger Pen. <laughs> wait a minute. Is this a zombie baby pen? It is. It's a zombie baby chewing on a leg. What the heck? Oh my gosh, and it's a pen. His brain is popping out. He's munching on a leg. That is crazy. All right, let's keep on moving here. I want to see if we can't find these things. Wait a minute, what kind of candy do we have here? <laughs> we got the Friday the 13th Sari Sour Cherry Candy Cleavers. I've actually had those. They're very tasty. We have the Ouija Mystifying Mints. We have the Chucky Tin down here with Cherry Candy Knives. We got the mystery machine here. I don't know what's in there. Oh, sour green apple. Okay. And we got Michael Myers here. This one has sour candy in it. And Pennywise here, but I don't know what's in there. Cherry red balloons candy. All right, we got all our magnets here. We got keychains here, mystery bag. There are so many new mystery bags this year, guys. I'm not seeing any tumblers yet, but let's keep on moving. There's this squishy guy. Here's some mugs over here. Uh, here's some tumblers, but it's not what we're looking for. Look at this art mug. I don't think I've seen this one before. Whoa, that is a long head on that guy. That's for like a double hot choco. All right, let's keep coming around this way. We got spider webs and bags and pumpkin carvers. All right, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Here are some more tumblers, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. Although I will say this ghost face one is very close to it. It's clear and it still says killing it. That's pretty cool. And that's something more of like what I would use. I think the other one is just too big for me. But look at this. We also have Chucky here. This one's really cool. Jason and Michael Myers. 
Look at this one. Killer clowns from outer space. In space, no one can eat ice cream. <laughs> all right, let's head over this way because I don't think we've been over here yet. Here's all their new shirts. We've already looked at these in one of the other videos. Doesn't mean we can't look at them in these videos too, but I really like this one right here. Jason Voorhees, most likely to kill it. Wait, have we seen this? I think we've seen this. The Ouija board, the Wednesday Ouija board. I haven't looked at the ghost face masks yet in any of these stores. Look at this. I love the aged mask. We got the chrome one here. We have the color changing mask. Hmm, okay, let's see that. Okay, it lights up and it changes colors. And then we have the devil face, which looks totally cool, but I don't do horns. Look at this, it's a Gary crossbody bag. That's hilarious. And the little tag says meow. Wow, guys, they just must not have unpacked those tumblers at all because I don't see any of them, not one tumbler in the entire store. And I have been up and down all of these aisles. All right, let's leave some stickers over here for these guys before I go. We'll leave some for Ghostface, one for Halloween Two Skull, couple for Dancing Lydia, one for the Deadly Nightshade, some for the Ghosty Cups. All right, and I gotta come over here for a minute and check out this gigantic stuffed sloth because from what I can understand, giant three-toed sloth. You can win me by signing up at the service center or buying participating craft items. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Wait a minute, what is this right beside him? Look at this. Haunted Hayride Pumpkin Ale. I bet that's like beer and I don't drink beer. Pumpkinville Latte. Oh, it does have alcohol in it. No thanks. Here, though, is some donut shop coffee. That is what I'm talking about. Scary Good Treats. It's coffee flavored like Twix. And not just Twix, but a Twix donut and a Snickers donut. What could be better than that? Oh, a peanut butter cup donut? <laughs> it's open to Bueller's right here, and this is the grocery store, so that's how I got caught up out here. I want to see one more thing here. Jet puffed candy corn marshmallows. It's even shaped like candy corn. I wonder if it tastes like candy corns. Mmm. All right, I'm out, guys. That was super fun in that store. I decided to leave the plushy arts for other people because I know how much people want to find them. So if you are one of those people, come on out here to New Philadelphia, Ohio. They have three of them right now.